Sony ImageSoft, why is your logo off center? That is so annoying. So we've spoken about Chuck Rock on this channel before in our 5 Mega Drive platformers made by Western developers video, but this time we're taking things over to the Mega CD to see how the game fares on Sega's CD-based console expansion. Chuck Rock for Mega CD released in December 1992 and was once again handled by the core design team who would later find worldwide fame as the developers of the Tomb Raider franchise. Gritty third-person Chuck reboot when? Once again we're playing as Chuck who is trying to rescue his wife Ophelia, who has been knocked out and kidnapped by the local weirdo Gary Gritter, and yes, that joke has still aged terribly. This is all explained in an enhanced version of the Amiga's introduction that now features an actual narrator. A shadowy figure is lurking in the bushes outside. Gadzooks who's Gary Gritter, the local weirdo in them their bushes. Looks like he's got the hearts for Chuck's wife, the beautiful Ophelia Rock. Audio has been enhanced across the board as the game now features a CD quality soundtrack and in-game voice samples and it does make the experience feel a lot more cartoony and silly, in keeping with the graphical style. The Mega CD version also adds a map screen showing you your progression through the game and its big selling point is it features loads of new stages. It is now an absolutely enormous game and thankfully there are also passwords to jot down after you defeat each area's boss. Unfortunately, the thing that will make or break the game for most players is the combat, and it's identical to every other version here. Chuck can belly bump enemies, but the reach of the attack is so small that the enemies need to be almost on top of you before you can attack them, and you're more than likely going to misjudge the hitboxes and get hit a lot. You can also do a jumping kick, which has a lot more reach, but it's a difficult move to master. You can also pick up and chuck rocks, as per Chuck's namesake. These can be used as projectiles to defeat enemies, but can also be used to create extended platforms to jump off or protect yourself from falling objects. Despite the limited reach your attacks have, you do get used to it and it's worth sticking with because Chuck Rock excels in its stage design. Despite being a western platformer, the stage designs don't feature the maze-like item hunting to open an exit that most western platformers tended to explore at the time. Chuck Rock basically tasks you with starting at the left of a stage and exiting via the right, and how you get there is up to you. The stages are full of tight platforming to do, and the controls are really robust and responsive, making them a joy to explore. They're absolutely stuffed full of collectibles as well, but most of these are just point bonuses that get added to your overall high score, which is a largely arbitrary inclusion that is only really there because all games had high score tables at the time. Chuck Rock really shines on the Mega CD, and there's absolutely loads of game here, and it's worth getting stuck into because it's a wonderfully tight platformer with great presentation that will definitely appeal to fans of the genre. Sure, the combat is a little finicky at first, but you soon get a feel for the attack range and hitboxes, and once you're comfortable with it, you've got an absolutely massive platform game to get stuck into. 